Another week, another weekend of chaos. In scenes that have become all too familiar, hardline protesters vandalize shops and throw petrol bombs at police. Police respond with tear gas, rubber bullets, and water cannon. Five months of ongoing protests have taken a toll on this city, hurting small businesses and costing people their jobs. Jenny Chow is a shop owner in the Flashpoint district of Tsun Wan. This is where a teenage protester was shot in the chest by police using a live round. She sells pillows and bags made out of leftover fabric. Since the protests, her sales have plummeted. She's making the tough decision to shut down. We don't have business. So no people's going out and no tourists because of they blocked the airport. So not so many tourists right now. So for me, like dropping 90%, for most of our friends, they're dropping at least 50%. They all have to like quit the tenancy and then stop the business. Hong Kong Financial Secretary Paul Chan says the impact of the protests on the economy is comprehensive as the city faces two consecutive quarters of contraction. That's the technical definition of a recession. Now, Hong Kong had already been hard hit by the U.S.-China trade war as well as China's slowing economy, but the ongoing and relentless protests have packed a devastating punch. Violent clashes have forced stores and restaurants to close repeatedly and have turned visitors off from the city. Tourist numbers have plunged 37 percent year on year for the third quarter. The Hong Kong government is pumping $255 million to support small businesses and a $2.4 billion stimulus package to help safeguard jobs and provide relief. But that offers little relief to struggling business owners. The government fund it's difficult for us to apply and even though we apply it um, there may be part of them are grants part of them are loans we don't know whether we can sustain to return to the loan to pay back the loan so in concrete terms what additional political tools what additional emergency measures do you plan to deploy to have order to be restored in Hong Kong. Christy, the, the, the situation we are now facing is anti-government violence. So um, the most effective solution is to tackle the violence head on. For the governments to resort to measures that will appease the violent rioters, I don't think that is a solution. In Tsun Wan, Jenny Chow is bracing for another weekend of chaos, dragging the economy and her dreams down with it. Christy Lustout, CNN, Hong Kong.